well placed. Oh, right on the money. Man just can't do Bree. Operating at half health, and you can see that their intentions are clear. Lucky late long. Commit to A, or at least flirt with that idea. The Xbox Smoke to have given them that relatively for free. Yeah, this is uh, taking the pace out of it here. So they do have the space. They're waiting for a regress, feigning the footsteps out. The mid to B is called relatively clear here. They could smoke and go, but I think they're just posturing to play with the rotation, and they haven't actually drawn a player away from A. By doing this, you want to have that third man, that third A defender, come back over towards CT, and they haven't, so they're just going to split B quickly. All right. Well, this is a mix-up. Apex has dropped a nice defensive smoke that will channel them into Masuta. Careful, Masuta. You're getting a bit... Keen for that one. Lucky flank. Lucky a late flank. Yeah. Oh, solid out of Masuta. The last two bullets. He has to do more. He has done more. Dupree down. Lucky left alone. And yeah, got to try and close this gap. A little bit of flare in the strafe, but that will do nicely. And Masuta gets a pat on the back in a big way. He was isolated there and he was taking ambitious jewels. Tucking into the sight in time. That'll do. You can see how they adjusted on the fly there, right? You have a couple of options once you get that space. You can go for the A execute or you can go for the mid to B. Well, the mid to B was the call, but bang on. Masuda had a couple of key rounds over there on Vertigo to keep Vitality's hopes and dreams alive. And Lucky, while well, the last man standing, left in the clutch again. But a force by through. It's going to be some scouts, some deagles into the mix here. Deep molly towards long will contain Astralis for now. And this is the uh, same approach we have seen across both of the first two maps to play here. They just sit back, they wait out that early util, and then just creep through the path of least resistance. This time they'll make their way up catwalk again. They've got a boatload of smokes for an execute if they'd like. It's a confident buyout of Masuta as well, and Zaiwu both with the full Kev, no nade M4. It should be fine for Zaiwu to deal with this. Apex going to drop that smoke to... This is contact. Aggregate them, and they are just contact walking in. Zaiwu has given them the contact. The smoke likely to follow. They're just testing the water here. We're going to limp out one at a time. This is going to get dismantled. Yeah, can't believe their luck. Just one jewel after another. Apex pockets some extra change. Thank you, Dupree. And Apex will make it a comfortable three. It feels like there's been absolutely no executes in this game. Like on Nuke, maybe a couple, right? Maybe a couple of top set pieces, maybe the odd smoke wall. But realistically, this entire series so far has just been walk to a point of contact, try and get the trades done. And if it falls in your favor, you win the round. So really quite lacking as far as tactical depth. Now, I know that was a, was a force play, but they had so much utility in terms of smokes there to drop the one way, to drop the bridge smoke, to do all those goodies right there. But we're not going to get a whole lot in play. And... Now it's just going to be two P2, well, make it three P250s and a couple of Glocks. An aggressive maneuver for Apex up mid. And he caught with a nade in his hand, but the farming will begin. Oh, lovely. That's exactly what you want to see. Apex, he's not dead. His teammate is. He might be too. Zaiwu struggling, struggling to hit that tip of the lucky head. And Kyojin puts them to bed. Okay. Three to zero. They get their conversions. Everyone's taking it in turns to farm up a triple kill or such. Strahan is now going to be whipping out their rifles. But you're right, though. In terms of like set pieces, it has been a very unusual um, state of affairs. In Nuke especially, we weren't really getting much more than a couple of wall smokes with no one really behind them. Some top pops. Feels like oh so long ago. Now, of course, Vertigo more recently in our minds. And very quick out of Vitality, yeah. whipping out the double orb. Lucky's been able to count. Calls two cross B and Glaive suicide straight down. He wants to go with this. They're trying to punish this B defense. They're about to be very quick on the heels of this two man defense. There's no rotation available. They're still hard committed long. Maybe the aggressive long doors push could have something to contribute. They haven't hit the go here. The fact that they've stalled out is a bit of a problem. That space is being taken now. Just stalled out. You two oh. back and forth. Flustered. Yeah, back to tons. They've got no ground. Nothing to celebrate. Zipex has had time to return to the long door. Shadow advantage for Kyojin. That will be the equalizer with the fan mass V AK. Lurky Bowie Boy smoke out of Magisk. This will keep feet planted, enable you to execute through it, flash through it if you desire. Does keep shocks guessing on the orb. It's a good counter to his current position. They just gonna fly walk out. Behind this. Walk up behind it, exactly. He's pre aiming the boost. They're coming. Oh, does lose his head. Magisk, a big entry into the site, and that's a double from the Dane. 
Stick a fork in that. Yeah, they have to save here, right? You, you bang on with that double AWP investment. You can't risk going for this and immediately they lose the site. You're going to see a lot of this on a map like Dust 2. Lose those opening kills. And if they just committed to that mid to B, you, you're thinking as well it would have been a perfect call. They had so much space. You like the way that they've operated by getting all that mid room. So they drop down, they do the boost in suicide with the AWP to make sure that nobody's pushing mid, nobody's fighting mid. And then as soon as it's called clear, they just trundle on down. So... I like the pace from Australis there, but same thing again. It's just a contact walk, right? This is such an interesting game of Counter-Strike to see it unfold like this. It's it, There's no, like, setting the pace in terms of strategies. It, there's no, like, really conditioning the opponent with certain maneuvers. It's just walk on in, you hit the opening kill, and you find the second. Well, that's it. Bomb goes off. Australis do get there first. There's lots of cash over there for Vitality, right? So no dramas as far as a buy goes. Masuda's got plenty. Zawu can drop a gun if they want to do the double AWPs. Even enough money to do exactly that. So we will see another full gun round coming on out. But that felt way too easy. And Magisk, that was some beautiful shooting out of him. Shox isn't going to opt for the AWP again. They will just be getting him a rifle in hand, the M4A1S variety. Util pretty good. Kits in play. And here's that boost again. This time, turning their attention over towards B early. I think they used a HE to cross. Very retro. The black smoke visible just for a second on the fade. Well, this time a bit more heads up, right? They're not letting them creep in. They're not letting them play any games behind the smoke. Hinge swap dropped, and I were quick on the flick, but no damage done. And just a standard default posturing now as Glaive mantles on up through the Xbox short control. Next on the agenda here. Rally of nades back and forth. But it is just poking and prodding. No clear intention just yet as the bomb has greeted towards the mid doors as well. A minute remaining on the clock here and well, they do have enough utility to go for a mid to B or a short play again with the pack locking down middle. Yeah, well you might get that exec you were hoping for. Dupree walks out mid, right? He might be able to catch one slipping if they push down towards mid doors. I would post it up. He should have a good chance now. They might quickly go up yeah, short. They're trying to maybe rush down the AWPA. Apex trying to confirm things early. He doesn't to spot beat. a thing. Mid to beat again. They want to punish Shocks and Masuta. Masuta beat them on the pistol. Can he do anything here? Baited in nicely. Does get one and a half. Need more shocks, need more, and he gets toyed with. Zaiwu does line one up straight through the smoke. Spanks the bottom of Dupree, bomb down. Do they play for the retake? Apex is close already. Clave, should he peek again? He might catch That's Zaiwu. That's teammate's Molly. Just in the sub Molly as he retreats. Tagged up on the doors, they're grouping up to go for this. There's lots of util, what's going on? He's been shot in the back, Apex. His eyes were averted from the site. Lucky looking to survive. He's on the big box. It's only Lucky now. Zaiwu's hitting some great shots and now Lucky. Oh, oh Zaiwu burned down. Lucky actually gets the clutch. What killed him? The flames? A fumbled nade, fall damage. That is a weird way to go down. It looked like they'd found all the frags necessary. Lucky isolated two players to hunt him down. There's time to defuse. We'll have to see that one again. There's been some real awkward moments in this game here today. And that one, just add that to the tally, add that one to the list. How did that go oh, down? How did that weird. unfold? I, I don't blame them for wanting to take a time out here. This was the Zywe through the smoke. So jumping, spots him, Bye. lines it up, through the smoke, through the wall. We had an incendiary. Gets the shot. So that's the Molly in the sight. So he drops in the oh. flame, just licks him on the way on in. Oh, the 1G. Summit will be proud. Oh, yeah, and that one right there was a round that it was unlikely for Vitality to contest until Zawu gets that trade kill up towards window, right? And then they're spurred into it, right? Then they give it a crack. So Astralis gifted a little bit of a opportunity here. One more round on the trot. They will break Vitality. They'll make it so they can actually start to put a few more rounds on the board here. Same boost coming out. Lucky on his teammate's head. And, oh, not taking a pot shot. Very reserved. Very. But happy just to get given the count, Magisk. He knows what he's working with and working against. They're baiting these smokes out early, so that's dropped very early over towards the B side of things. And Glaive, he's on a bit of a walk here. Apex not ready for this. And oh, oh dear. You lucky soldier. Oh, now a bit of a change here from Astralis. Taking space a bit quicker. You can see just how much that caught Apex off guard. And they're going to call the big man Zywu over to lock things down. 
does mantle up, he'll have a sight line. And he's going to peek around this glaive. Does go down. Not expecting that re-aggression from the orb immediately. Zaiwu looks to reposition. They could both throw these uh, avant-garde smokes. I think they heard him drop spawn. So if they do this, it's perfect. There's no orb going to be a car to stop this. Yeah, it's only going to be up to Apex, and he's not really got much to defend his... Oh, they're coming oh, back. No, they're coming straight into Zaiwu. He can't believe his luck. He puts the bomb down. They'll double channel them elsewhere. They're flashed and worried. Pull up their socks, head back to short. Zaiwu will eat the flash. Oh, never mind. He's got vision, and he's missed his shot. Magisk has pulled them right back into a potential competitive 3v5. And look at them. This is like a pendulum. Back and forth. CT's left guessing. Loud now and light on time. It's the mid to be. The bomb's there. Yeah, but it's a FAMAS and MP9. What are you supposed to do? Magisk is so sharp today. Post is seventh. Leaps into Shox. Shock's doing it all if he can. Just string together two. He's pulled the round out of his bottom. MP9, two AKs barreling towards him, and he gets them both. You can just see that they're just trying to play the rotations. Really just trying to play the rotations right there. And I thought they heard Zawu drop to spawn. I guess not, because they've gone back for the mid to B. The repositions caught them off guard, thrust them over towards A, and then back they go again. Shocks his first two kills as well. Like, he hasn't been having a world of a fun over on that B site. You've been talking about it, you know, conditioning them. They've been dropping their nades early. We saw him miss his AWP shot and get run down. Magisk's double. Yeah, another uh, a good round from Magisk here as well, though, right? Like, this is how it started. Zywu peering around the smoke, being brave and wanting to play for info. I really feel this matchup between these two teams is all about the information, right? It's all about how much information you can have to get yourself in the right position. And this is great from Shox. He's under so much pressure here up against the rifle. It's a great gun in that circumstance. And, well, we go back again. Scoreline 4-2. to two. Timeout taken for Astralis now. And they can buy. You can see that already starting to manifest. The only one yet to purchase is Zip. Probably waiting for the marching orders of what utility required for the next round to play. A lot of calling of the bluff here. Both sides with the AWPs. Long spawn for Glaive here. So if he wanted, he could go for a little bit of a play. Only has that Deagle. He's going to need the support of his teammates' flashes to help them get on out. There's the AWP again. This time a bit more of a passive stance. Lucky doesn't have that info. They're posturing towards long. They're about to pop and go here. Saiwu tested. Flash is perfect. He will pull the trigger all the same. Damage inflicted. Kyojin to be really tested here. The corner smoke. Zaiwu will have to respect that. And actually, interestingly enough, Kyojin's dropped one of his own to take that blue bin fight. It's going to stall him out for a bit. Yeah. And now they know this presence pit. Where is the support? Where is the flashes? He's just taking them dry. Ah! And that's something else from Apex. Him and the smoke have a trying relationship, but this time again, he opens up the account with the double. Stolen Glaive's superpower here, I think, in this series. Certainly, but Magisk is pretty damn super as well. Not that, uh, but today, just ducking under the crosshair of Magisk is Masuta. And that damage inflicted earlier on their long advance is still echoing into this round. As Apex call out, the information present. Apex knows where one of the two are, likely. An easy assumption to make is that Long is lost. Zywu's given that up. They have two smokes, right? They can do the classic smoke wall here. Right, they can drop one from afar. Looks mm. like Dupree wants to operate here with the AK-47 in his hand, so no AWP to oversee business. Now, they can creep up, and they can do this late, right? You don't have to do the set piece where it's so telegraphed. They can walk up, drop them, and then cross. Now, they will have to deal with Zywu's AWP. Okay, what's his reaction to this? Gandalf tuck in, nade on ramp, just a little bit of chip damage. It's all about the denial of this plan. And they're hunting for Gandalf, they're running towards Zywu, he does get spotted out, they're closing the gap, 10 seconds, you have to take a shot and does take one with him. No hope for Dupree. What are you supposed to do? Plant for cash, doesn't get that either. Vitality 5, Astralis 2, and they handle business. Poof, good stuff there to get the AWP back in the hands of Zywu. He was just very reserved on that. Just kept his head tucked on down and even gets one for his trouble. So now, question marks for Astralis here in that buy department. They were already at the bottom of the barrel with that investment there. You knew Glaive was only into a pistol, and now it is going to be a scout for Dupree. But this double from Apex, right? Like, the amount of kills that he's had in this series through the smoke is mental. You go back to Nuke, you yeah. go back to Vertigo. He was just getting constant kills through the smoke. And this time round, Dupree will find the tag on Masuta. Blood could be spotted on the back there, so... 
don't know if they've done damage or not, but they're going to try a pacey change again, and they made this work on Vertigo. They changed the pace, they pushed up, and they went quick. Zywoo to be tested again. Okay, it's going to come down to the util they throw out to force him back. I mean, I say util, what is it, a flash? It's going to be the bodies. That's what they have. Oh, God. And that's the counter util already. Okay, bait, switch, swing. Threat of the scout. High flashes for his repeaks. He is posting the numbers necessary. Zywoo just has a lovely shooting gallery cleaning up. Dupree to counter with a rebuttal. Missed shot shy of the mark. He does find the second. Some Oof. style points for Dupree. Out orbs Zywoo. With the 1700 version. Missing to just in the blind spot. Oh. Dupree snaps into another head. Careful now. Vitality vulnerable. Shocks the flank. He will be silenced. Dupree, though, no slouch. Huge round. Just the scout constantly finding those heads right there. Some great shots from Dupree. And that was a very, very limited investment. So keeping these rounds highly contested here. Yeah, Vitality still does it. You know, penny pinching. Looking under the sofa cushions to make sure they can get everything through. Yeah, they did drop a couple of extra HEs in spawn there for Apex. So he got the, a couple of those out to do some utility damage here. But this was great from Zawi. You can see the repositioning on the fights. And then Dupree, well, he comes alive here. The third is very stylish onto Masuta as well. So, aggression, that starting it off. Yeah, straight away, back into the fray. Down goes Apex this time, but Shock's response with aggression, and he's threaded the He's needle. found the gap, he's found the gap. Oh, this is huge. Okay. Zip is going to be lining up a nade. So that should be a free frag. He's going to be coming a lot when he hears this. Dupree, long door side. They're going for like a B-tons heavy Lean, Shocks will hear this. He's already so far pushed up, they're not ready. He's really under their skin. Oh, he hasn't heard <gasps> it. He hasn't heard it. He will now. And Zipex spots him out. He's lost all the power now. It will slow him down at the bare minimum. The rotate's on its way, and down he goes. Shocks doesn't get nothing out of that. The gamble stacking B off the back of this. Or Australia's going to stick to their guns. If they have these three postured in upper dark and they continue forward, it will be into the stack of vitality. But if they have the presence of mind, they'll let and wait for Dupree to have a little look. They'll consider that as a possibility. Glaive commands the troops to bide their time, reposition. So I was in mid with the AWP here. He could stop this if he's quick. He at least has their Xbox rotate. Hinge smoke's a possibility, but they're oh, just doing it. Oh, he gave up the mid doors. He gave it up. That they won't get be the round. any answers now. Yeah, you're right. They're just going to walk in right now, Astralis, right? You can see this. There's the pressure on the long corner. They've come up short. Nobody's home at this point. You have a very good idea that it is going to be the gamble stack, but you just want to make sure it is clear. Moyes for the site. In they go. And Vitality, they don't really have any choice right now. They're just forced into this. They took a gamble. It didn't pay off. Shocks there. It was just the smallest of margins, right? It's just the absolute smallest of margins. The fact that Zipex returned to that position to look on down mid, and then Dupree ready and waiting. They snapped that one shut. And that was after the opening, the zip got towards that long corner. Apex went down within the early, early stages of that. The first 15 seconds, he was dead. And Astralis will bounce back with their third. And with what Shox had managed to pull off there in terms of just catching a timing, the long doors holder not active as Zip gives up mid to go line up his smoke. You'd think he'd been able to build something on the back of that. But yeah, caught out. Zip gets that info safely. Dupree can react and Vitality lose their potency. It, it felt to me like he wanted to make sure that they couldn't go towards mid, right? Whereas if he had just stayed and hedged towards spawn, then he probably doesn't get a kill or any info, right? So you could see the decision-making. They wanted to make himself useful. Uh, that death was really the undoing of the round. Now the saved guns. You get Vitality back in a position of a buy. So there's an omission. Apex is down to the Famous here. Full U2, however. This could be really be a gap closer now for Astralis. They're going to boost Lucky up for the cross. He's pretty passive. Bit of a passive fist. And as he does have a look, he meets Zywoo's fist. Straight to the jaw. Lucky gone. Orping presence. Overwatch cancelled. And the smoke. He's going to keep going. Do breathe the spearhead here. And Glaive's clawed one back. He's actually picked up the AWP and done what Lucky couldn't. Kyojin stands vigilant, though, on long. That's locked down. And they have to go back to the drawing board. And mid seems to be the object of their affection. A 2 2 split of Vitality's defense. Masuta's still got a real sack of util. So should they go late B, that's going to be a 
tough one. Magisk would love to force something early. Okay. In this in this four on five situation, it's very likely Vitality just play a two two, and that's the setup they're currently in, right? It's very difficult to get back across those mid doors, especially now you know Glaive has the AWP. You got a couple of options here if you're Australis. You could group up, do an AX, you have plenty of nades to do exactly that, and you know that the AWP isn't in play, right? Zywoo's down, so you can get into that site, but it looks like mid to B. Well, they cleared closed doors at the bare minimum. Again, Masuta and Shocks to be tested here. The util we talked about is dropped. Oh, oh Magis just catches a stray. Only Shocks. Apex trying to be the hero. He nearly takes down Zip and at least starts what Shocks can't finish. Glaive again contributes on the AWP and it's up to Kyojin. Straight on through. Glaive gets Spotted the info now. and just going to save that AWP. Kyojin oh. not interested and that's Astralis breaking the bank. We're going to have a hero AWP situation. I really thought right there after the Zywoo opener, it was just going to be one of those rounds that peters out for Astralis, right? We've seen them plenty of occasions. They lose an opening kill or two. They just walk around, and then the round just falls apart here. But Glaive stepping up again, right? And he only has two kills to his name, but both of which came in this round, and that secured them their fourth now. He's been great in the first two maps of play. If he can come alive with more of that here on Dust2, the team are going to need it. That's impact. That's going to break Vitality right now. Lost Burn is coming on through, sure. The saved AWP, that's the best thing they have to boast. But right now, you want to set Zywoo up. You want to put him in a position where he can be very active with that AWP to find as many kills for you as possible. They had 1,900 as the Lost Burn is coming into this round, meaning if they take a save next round, they will be able to buy. But it's a rough spot to be in right now. The gap will close. Astralis are looking likely to convert their fifth here if they can deal with this AWP. Do you just let him off the leash, or do you really give, do you give him a bomb site? This is the type of situation where, you know, you want him to go for a pick. You want him to go for a fight and find you a kill. Oh, he's doing exactly that. Oh, Magis caught out aggression. Suta might lose the sight, though. He's being run down. They're committing. Zaiwu's AWP will be able to contribute. Can Masuta get anything? The answer's no. Zaiwu wants info. A boost, boost might work. It could be potent. Oh, they're dropping back immediately. This is quick decision making right now. They're trying to go around the world. Apex is taking the, the space up mid. The bomb bro. If he oh, keeps going, dear. if he keeps going around this corner, he's got Magisk weapon to work with as well. And there's the bomb. Come on, Dan, work it out. No, he's got his knife out. Does tuck in in time. Threatening now, at least to keep Astralis cage. They're pulling utility out and now on the retrieval. Bomb scooped up. They're out of smokes now. There's going to be nothing for the B doors if they return to the site. Lucky's what in. a massive blunder this has been. Lucky's in. Glaive's waiting for this hunt. Oh, Apex is getting away with murder here. Zywu will be there in time. This is the fight. This is the fight. He strikes. Dupree gone. Bomb spotted on the commit. Zipex is in and Kyojin's Deeg is in the feed as well. This will turn the tables right on around. The bomb to go down. Glaive's vision fading. A lurky smoke to crawl on in. The gap is held for now. Apex late from tons. Glaive will be on notice. It's all about who strikes first. It's all about who strikes first. Four versus two. They've done a lot of the heavy lifting. Down goes Apex. Kyojin's his next victim. Glaive again saving Astralis. And Zipex puts the cherry on top. Recovered. Between the two of them, they find all five in the fifth as well for Astralis. It was tense. Oh, I'm so glad they can laugh that off. That could have been the game down there. Just the morale of the team. You made the right call, but you left the bomb at spawn. You had no smokes left to get yourself back across here. This is how Zywu opened up the account. Matt just trying to do it safely. Just gets plucked out of the air, and this is when the smokes have faded. It's being thrown across. They grab that. Kyojin even finds this kill. It's a two-on-four situation. Well handled. Incredibly well handled. It's Glaive. This as well just seals the deal. Kyojin has nothing done. The gap in the smoke, you can understand why. But Zipex was drawn into it and profits from it. A CT timeout, Vitality just want to screw their heads back on tight. No warp in play now, despite Zywu putting up such a fight. That's crazy right there. I cannot believe they got away with that. They did everything. Right, other than leaving the bomb at spawn, right? They were in. They were in the site. They had oh. to send so many players back just to get that bomb. Okay. Last chance saloon now. It's still not ideal. A couple of foregone nades. Lucky this time is taking pot shots, but the numbers have been called two across. A bit more of a default spread here. Pressure long. They like to apply it. Kyojin up close just in case, and Zywoo tucked in for the anti-flash. The gap right now is short. 
but there's no pressure there just yet. Another Lurk Smoke to be dropped out towards the B site. And it's actually drawn the third man of Apex. He's the float on A all the way over towards this B bomb site. Worried about a mid to B or a B hit. Uh, the French. That Lurk Smoke is, well, been dropped. And Glaive's going to go all the way back. Regrouping with the rest of his forces towards top mid. This long setup could be tested as well here. I mean, he's desperately trying to pull Util out of them, but stubborn and light on. Shox does still have get a face full of Magisk, who's been no slouch in opening that B bomb site, but it is back to long. There's Zai two Wu here. And Kyojin this whole time. Who takes first contact? Masuta's going to get info early. Kyojin wants to bait and switch. He loves Iwu to be the second component of this when all eyes are drawn towards the pit. Kyojin activated, surely. Needs to take an engagement and does. Now as I was turned to strike and he has as well. Bomb loose. Vitality sailed through round 12. And Apex confirms. You can see his mouth moving fast. And Dupree's hunt met by a FAMAS between the eyes. All onto Magisk. He's been great for Astralis, but a 1v5 is just too much to ask. Bomb completely disconnected from him. And yeah, may as well keep hold of what he's got. He's got 3,800 as well to bring through to the next. I can't believe they just, they, they, they called a bit of a gamble there, Vitality. They had no information or was short whatsoever, right? They just locked down long and they locked down B. Like Apex floating B early. They're so fortunate that Astralis ended long because as soon as they get that second kill, the bomb's loose, the other part of the pack is completely detached. They can't get there in time. And look what Vitality get away with from this. They get the AWP into Zywoo's hands for free. An AK picked up for the likes of Kyojin. They're sitting pretty now, but this is still going to be a tense finish to the first half here. For survival at the Major. Just seems mad that's happening day seven for these two characters. Yeah, timeout called for Astralis here. There's still a chance that they can win this half, right? It's seven five the score, and they have enough money to drop and get those guns working. Lucky's been given an AWP, and he's only got two kills to his name. We knew the pressure would be getting to some of the younger names in the server here today, but Kyojin, he's standing up. He has ten, so he's getting the job done here on Dust Two. Now they can buy. Zaiwu, this is when you want him. This is when you need him. 13 kills for him now. 11 of those are AWP kills. Been using it to great success when he's in his hands. And as you highlighted, they've recovered one. He's back to the weapon. He's been finding the majority of his kills with. Lucky does not choose to engage. And a 3-2 split for now. Apex to smoke off the long. And secure it for the squad. Magis, we all know his flight path now. Oh. But Masuta comes at knocking. Xbox is smoked. Masuta, he wants to catch a timing on this. Magisk is housing any B aggressions. Apex started at A, returns to B. Masuta does find Magisk, and that is exactly what you were waiting for, looking to strike. Clay brings the bomb up cap. We've got Zaiwu and Kyojin responsible for this A-site defense. Oh, so much info right now. Oh, and they're ahead. Apex, he's aware. He's going to get the kill. Japri's down. They have to go towards A, but now all the info. And Shock should get another one. Back turn. Doesn't get the frag. And Zip, he's aware. It's falling apart. Astralis got nothing left. It's only lucky. And they're closing in thick and fast. A clean one from Vitality. And all of those woes over two rounds are completely null and void. Astralis are the ones now having to stomach a bleak financial situation. And this is at the tail end of their T half. It could really spell trouble. Here's the deal, right? They can just take a save right now, just a, a partial investment, but that means Vitality are, are very, very likely to get up to that ninth round. And then we'll see the guns come out for the final round of the first half here. So we're going to be battling for what should essentially be a 9-6 scoreline for the Danes. Flash out long. Pressure applied. Kyojin's going to peek. Yeah, and that's the end of him. Glaive deciding he could maybe do more with the Deagles. I was going to have a whole squad against him. He has to hold this firm. Light on Util. Shocks in support. Zywoo. 
to be tested. Glaive has done so much, but Zaiwu has to do so much more. A missed shot. It's getting awkward now. Vitality, they lost one of these on Vertigo. A light investment. Now an AK to be juggled, an M4 for good measure. This could still fall apart, Chad. You can drop back if you're Astralis. Now you can take your time on this. Masuda close doors. There's still Dupree top mid. And looking for info. The Glock's going to spot it, but that's all he can do. He can only spot it, and that's going to push them forward oh. on long into Zaiwu. More. A whole lot more. He flashes for himself, wants to take it, get the answers, get the info, get the frag. Lucky's his next victim. Bomb loose, round save. Zaiwu has delivered when it matters most. Four kills on the AWP, and I mean, that could so quickly have spiraled out of control. You can see Extaz just trying to contain his uh, emotions <laughs> after that one, because I'm sure he was on the bloody edge of his seat. Yeah, just giving up those two kills so early towards long. You could see it happening as well, though, right? Like, Glaive's had to hit bangers, but with the way that these rounds have gone down in the past against Vitality, the you, you have one. a great idea. And look at all the space. Like, Apex is... Ooh, oh, okay. Glaive's doing it again. Doesn't matter what weapon you put in his hands. He seems to be finding first blood, and they're it's not going to stop. They're not going to stop for anyone. Shocks, a whole team. One minute 40, and they're knocking on his door. He's taking some risk. He's calling for help. Apex and Shocks, the old boys, Everyone trying to blind. teach him some new tricks. He repositions. They're all flashed. And that's the end of that. A massacre for the 10th. The French are up. Out of their seats. What a recovery. Astralis try and throw some pace into the mix. Richard Papillon. The graceful butterfly repositions in the flash. You could see how blind he was. His crosshair was nowhere in the right place. It was up in the bloody sky right there. Bloody Everybody hell. completely flashed as they're trying to come out through the smokes there and locking him down, locking him out. 10 to 5, the scores read. And of course, Zywa at the tippy top of that. 18 kills for him. Astralis 5. They need an 11 round half here on the defense. Oof. Quick little B-Stream update for everybody playing at home. The next team to qualify for the arena was Gambit. They 2 owed NIP. So NIP are in that 2-2 column and the only Swedish representation, well, other than Olaf, has to play tomorrow to get to that Avicii arena. But here we go. Aggression up mid on the pistol. Fast from Dupree wanting to take the fights. It's predicted now. Oh. Zai was P250. Does smack Glaive down and out. A follow-up flash to him. close the gap. Chasing him down. Dupree fights his way out of trouble. Hard to track. He's committed to Xbox and Zaiwu can't seem to find the head. The first was stylish, re-aggression on towards Cat. Lucky tucked on in. He will go looking for answers. Long a part of that apex. Takes some serious space and that car clear though. Oh, and Lucky's pushing up mid. The re-aggress. They're, they're waiting, waiting for him. They're still waiting for this. And Lucky spotted. Can't track him. Kyojin struggles. Zaiwu doesn't. Even out now, three versus three. Now they are heavily, heavily committed to this A site. Getting across the doors can be tough. That's Zyru's responsibility to track. And just as he mantles up, Magis does get across. Pick your poison now, Vitality. It's A. Oh, tip of the head. Zipex has clicked nicely onto Apex. It's up to Zyru for the rebuttal. Goose Corner is a threat. Zipex baiting Dupree to strike, and Dupree does. Zywu, multiple targets. He can't find their head, and Astralis do recover. Oh, so nicely. Dupree to thank for that. I think he fe leaves with three. I think it was Zip that they had at the car the entire time there, because Apex got into pit and threw a fake towards A, but they immediately knew it wasn't A because they had a player behind car who just poked up his head and said, yep, it's clear. So that right there for Vitality is where the wheels fell off, right? They didn't really have anywhere that they could go because Astralis had a great idea of where they were going to be. Now, it is going to be just Apex going into the scout. P250 for shocks here, and that's a tag. Kyojin down to 1 HP immediately into lower his glaive. And, well, he might be able to find a couple of kills here because just on the other side of the tunnels are multiple members of Vitality. See what you got, Apex? Well, a bullet in his belly button. That's what he's got. And the aggression as well. Glaive has tunnels on lock, and Magisk has their entrance covered. The shadow advantage, easy collections. Quick 600 bucks injected into his finances and the yeah, this one to peter out. Just to note here, Apex opting to go with the scout. It's likely he goes with that again in the next round because Vitality have stayed conservative in this one. So we should see the AKs or the Galils come out in the next. And Astralis, if everybody stays alive, then you have the question, do we upgrade Zip and Glaive into something a little bit more potent? 
You'd love a kill or two if you are the French right now, and the tag is a great place to start. Still lots of time on that clock. Glaive can work around this smoke. Oh, and just enough vision to finish what Lucky started onto Apex. Gyojin does find a little bit of a dink into that helmet of the Danish leader, but that falls flat. No lethality from the light buy. Gap will close. The pistol and its conversions. It's the first step to Astralis really pushing the envelope here on the third map for survival. We've already seen them go aggressive towards lower dark and upper tunnels on that round right there. So let's see if that stays as a common theme. The AK is being bought on in now. Apex not opting to go for the scout. He's actually gone with the Deagle. Kyojin has a good long spawn right now. And away we go. Long corner. Smoke lobbed on out from Shocks. The flashes to follow through. And they're actually going to push into lower dark again here. So a lot of info early. Yeah, the French surely going to get rumbled here as long as Glaive does by time, and they're slow enough about this. Called it clear, Magisk has taken liberties. He'll be back on A in time. He's actually just mantled up the Xbox and joins Lucky, now staring down. And just as they leave the smoke, oh, finishes the job, Kyojin eventually. The flashes are turned. Magisk tucked in, it is this bonus round, but the bonus SMGs are connecting and chipping further away, a four versus three. Do they really want to keep going? They're the full stack. Yeah, they're stuck to this now. They have no info top mid, right? They have no info at all. They have to stand and fight. And Apex, some warning shots exchanged. Oh, Dupree, what, what, what are you doing, what my friend? Oh, oh, stuck on the movement. Goodness. Woo! He's very low now, 20 HP, susceptible to HE. Boost on up. The cut of noise will lead to Astralis asking some questions, but it's likely they just edge their bets, and they are. No smokes, just walks. Car, first question answered. The wall of smoke's up. Counter util deployed. And there's more where that came from. If they throw the second incendiary on top of that, there won't ever really be a chance to fully sweep up that ramp prior to the phase. Spotted. Magisk trying to play around it. It's a powerful, potent one way. He's been spotted now, and that's the spray from Kyojin. Round of finding, I think. Astralis running out of options. No denial of that plant. Call it 11. That's the, that's the bonus, right? It's the bonus scenario right there. So it's not the end of the world, but it just felt right. they had the right stack going in. But Lucky goes down. They just actually crept through the smoke. And it's very vitality, right? It's very vitality to go for that type of a maneuver. If it's an AWP, right? Lucky connects. Maybe he gets a couple right there. And well, their first round could fall away. But they do get the better of them right here. And they are going to get to hold on to these upgraded rifles for Dupree. That M4, he doesn't want to let that one go. Zip. The MP9, I'm sure he'd love to get anything else right now, but there's going to be enough cash. Dupree's going to be able to drop an M4. Glaive's going to be able to buy. Magic's going to be in that same position. Zip could go for an upgrade as well as if he wants. Now, it depends. Are we going to see the AWP prioritized here? Because I do believe that Glaive has enough to buy an AWP right now. So we're about to see how much Astralis believe in Lucky in this game plan. You know, in that interview, they said Zayu has to show up. Well, I think 6-0 in opening duels, 7 multi-kill rounds, and 22 frags is a check in that box. Astralis admittedly have definitely got the sleep out of their eyes as well. Quite a damning opening death star for Glaive, but he has been having impact and manages to be tested here. Zai with the first man out. And there's gonna be bloodshed everywhere. Zipex just with the SMG. Oh, Zipex upgrades and destroys. Three frags on their commitment. Vitality shaken. B is only defended by the one man, but they don't know that, and looks to me like they're walking straight on into Lucky's domain. Only a scout. Loud on his rotate glaive, and Lucky has hit the first and the second, two consecutive to secure the eighth. Only shock stands in his way, a nice click, an 8K for good measure. He'd love the plant glaive is just coming close. Oh, that's a flash, not the smoke. It's a plant, and it's a tap. Oh, Shoxy, he's been swung on. Glaive will secure it. Style points for sure. Makes him sweat a little more, but there you have Astralis right bite straight back. Yeah, I've seen enough Shox around like that before, mind you. So I was getting some flashbacks there for a second, but wow, just that positioning of Glaive again. Uh, his movement from Glaive there was, was what actually drew Apex out, expecting the rotation, right? But Lucky was standing and delivering. It is going to be a timeout called from the French, their third here within this final map of play. And it's close again. 
a close best of three series. The money situation for them is, as we do take a look, Masuta, Apex, Zaiwu, and Shox all have enough to buy. Kyojin should be fine as well for this one. So not too many dramas, but they need to work out how they want to march forward in this. It was a great first half. They have a 10-5, and well, it's amazing how quick that scoreline can quickly dwindle away. This, this was huge, wasn't it? I mean, one is fine. Two, something else. Oh. Third, Masuta Whoa. just emerging out of the smoke, and that transfer, crispy. Fresh out of the pizza oven. Oh, they've gone all in for this. AWP's out for both sides of things. Where's the difference maker going to be? Boosted Zaiwu. Nothing to report. They've actually expended one of their CT smokes to get across unspotted. Regardless of the change. And there's some more deep and early CT utility. Well, they're going to get a, this lower dark control for free. So they could put a lot of pressure on short or mid early here. We can see the setup for Astralis very passive towards those two areas. Glaive's already rotated back in and he's feeling this one out. This cross back late is what Zaiwu is responsible for. Oh. Jumping, jumping to survive. Masuta's hinge smoke costs him 70 damage. Takes that one on the chin. Everyone tries that. It's very rare you see that much damage, unless it's the AWP with a quick flick. But more spamming the nade oh, as well. Masuta, it might be perfect. Oh, down to 17, just peppered. Gets away with it. It's a big round now. Masuta still could catch one. The HE's got his name on it. Oh my lord, he gets away. Just evades that explosion. They really want long. Shock's gonna try and sell him mid to be here. Lucky like he can't miss. Lucky's got to bank this one and oof, between the two of them. Swinging out. Zipex isolated. The supportive flash will come in. Catches his teammate as well, and that's not quite enough. Apex dinked. Lives on. They are walking into Glaive and Lucky. And even trades. Need this one. Misses his chance, and, and the shock's allowed to be position. He's burning down. Still takes the pot shot. Now falls all onto Magic. They but get across. So up. doable, and that's the bomb. That's the bomb. This is it. Throws it across. We comes. Nine. Just picks it up. Seven. Can he deny? Can he deny safe plant? Trying to chip oh! away. Cuts is him on the jump, and Apex is next. Magis comes up clutch when it matters most. Huge, absolutely mental. Oh, sheesh, kebab. They had to throw it across. He's planting safe through the box. Shocks doesn't get it. And Apex are sitting dark. Magis holds his nerve. Oh, brilliant play. Vitality, you're going to be remembering that one. The jump as well. He's already given away his position, right? He's already given away his position on the first to spam through the box and then shocks. He just goes on down. Apex is low from that early exchange and it comes on in. Magisk again with some massive impact. He does not want to be eliminated right here, right now. He's throwing it all on the line. What a play. Look what it's done to them. They have to stomach a half by. That could be a game changer right here. This is looking like double digits now for Astralis. What he's done to them. They're fumbling, they're second guessing, they're faffing around in spawn. Testing B, Dupree's pushing in, that's been heard. Oh, warning shot. Shock's bleeding. That'll leave a mark. They didn't necessarily spot the bomb and tell a lie. Kyojin did have it, so no rotate just yet. It's a deep lurk smoke right there. They should be able to call that clear and look at this push from short. They can lock this mid to B down as a unit. God, rounding that corner is a death sentence. They're also very quick to spring to life if Masuda can't corral them with his Tech-9. They're pushing short right now. They're calling this clear. Masuda's not going to be ready for this. Just like that, he falls. Running out of options now. Dupree set for success. Magis to spring in and they can just tuck in. Great shots. Two more from Magisk. Just adds more to his tally. Make it 15. Apex alone. Isolated and eliminated. Gap continues to close. You said it yourself, Chad. A 10-5 half. We set the bar as Astralis would need to respond with one better. An 11-4 T half. Excuse me. CT half. Vitality here on the T. Asking a couple of questions at this point. Three plants out of the rounds of play. Six have been played out. Three successful entrances into the site. Magis clutch example of 
one that went awry. Yeah, this is starting to become some real problems for Vitality now. Again, the AWP is out for Zywoo. Again, that smoke is to guys the cross. They've gone for a four-man Aileen to lock down any long plays, and that's not where they're starting. They have nobody in B early. Astralis are playing games right now with yeah, the French. They really are. Dupree using that smoke to cross back after deploying the top. Oh, smoke. Be Careful, Dupree. On notice. 10 HP as they do return the spray. Hin smoke flubbed. Getting sketchy now. Yeah, Vitality really are on the ropes. They're walking out long. Zips found impact here before. And he will struggle this time to do the same. Missed incendiary. Lucky needs to get out of dodge and does. Space taken. Smoke Glaive's will pushing. fire respect. Glaive. Oh no. Shox has missed his chance. Glaive aware. Trying to reposition, trying to get away. Shox and Glaive just have to call it quits. Back to CT. Everyone's at A. This is a very intense and high stakes game of deathmatch. Crossing. Lucky. What? Pushes through. He's missed the shot. Nice through the smoke. It's even. Now the bomb now loose. It's up to Zywu to get across. The smoke will give a safe passage. A three versus two. Both in CT. It's not ideal, Chad. It's far from ideal. Stalled out for longer here. Dupree's actually going to jump up behind them. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to back off. They're calling the save. Just when it starts to heat up, Astralis, they're not willing to risk it for the biscuit in this one right now. And Vitality, they get another T-side round on the board, but you could just see Astralis are gambling massively here. Then with the four-man lean, they called the bluff, the RG budge, the back and forth in the mid doors. They played no one B and lost on A. Yeah, it's just right there. Those trades coming out in their favor. That long court, you've seen both teams missing very simple nades. The hinge smoke misses from Masuta on the jiggle towards long. Zipex feels the pressure. He misses the molly as well. It's the little details right now, and you can see it heating up. And lucky there, I don't know what the call was. I don't know if they told him to run on through, but taking a risk, runs into no man's land, and he gets grilled. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, Dust 2 delivers when it matters most for both of these teams. Oof, All of that preparation ahead of the major, the qualification. You know, Astralis and Vitality were both in attendance at that last RMR. Yeah, now we find ourselves with just two round the difference. A timeout called for Astralis here. They save those guns, but the finances, as they go back and forth, they, they have to have a discussion of how they're going to make the drops work. They can buy again, right? They, they definitely can. They can drop guns across, but... It's unlikely they're going to have an AWP here on this CT side. But they've just gone for a... They just, you're right. They just went for a, a four-man A lane. They gambled completely A in that whole round, and they lost it. So, so what's the mix-up now? Do we go back to the upper tunnels aggression? Do we try and get a little bit cheeky? Do we push in towards lower? Well, what do, do they just, do? Do you just dismiss that as Vitality happened or we didn't hit our shots and go for it again? Vitality didn't see it necessarily. It's very standard right here. Mid-door Molly just to deny any of those lower dark pushes. Oh, Zai was going quick. Very fast. Oh, it's all onto this. Magis defense. Ahead of the smoke, perhaps, and not far off on Magisk. A warning shot, that's all. That's all. Paul's a bit of a rotate, though. You can see Glaive maneuvering back through mid. Currently at 3-2 split of resources. It looks like the connection is once again having its issues. Little bit wobbly here as we immediately go uh, straight to some highlights of how this game's gone. So we'll just take all the intensity right out of that one. Uh, hopefully, there's not too many dramas here now. It's hard to go from the 12-10 scoreline of uh, being on the edge of your seat to uh, the song and dance of the two entertainers on your screen here, but we're going to be juggling in a moment. So this is just an interval. I don't know if you guys have experienced like intervals in your cinemas. I learned that uh, I learned that the other day in Malta. Apparently, you yeah. know, they just uh, in the middle of the movie, they just lights up. Yep, off you go, guys. You can go get some more popcorn now. Go to the bathroom. So maybe, just maybe, you guys at home should should do the same. Yeah, um, Germany does that too. Yeah, I, my mum told me they used to do that before I was born. So mm -hmm. that was uh, back in the 60s, I well, suppose. Well, it's, it's a remnant from the theatre. You know, you always have yeah. a, a half-time break. Obviously, it's not called that. I'm just a gamer boy. It's called... Um, interval. Uh, interval, thank you. Or intermission. And the, oh, so I was trying to say matinee, but that's just the early afternoon. That is the, that, that's what we're doing right now, I'd say it's the matinee. Yeah. And then uh, the evening performance this evening will be Virtus Pro taking on Mouse. What a gear shift this is just for my brain right now. Yeah, no, we'll piece it together. Uh, as did uh, these highlight packages, just to fill you in on what you may have missed if you've just come to catch the tail end of uh, one of these giants in the Counter-Strike world falling in the Legends stage. So, you know, it's a product of their own doing. Uh, I just think it's also worth reiterating how they ended up here. 
do you think we can sit down? I don't know. Maybe we can stand. Maybe we can sit. Uh, look, guys, let's do what we did before. Send us some tweets. I had loads. Let's get some social media interaction going on here. That's one way to fill the time right now. We don't know how long this is going to be. And thank you for your patience. We apologize for this little technical issue. Which country do you think would have the best national team? Uh, oh, uh, well, probably Denmark. They've probably got the, the biggest depth of talent. If you say the CIS region, that's just not one nationality. Yeah, fair. But you could start building, like you'd have simple and bit. That would be the start of the Ukrainian squad. And if you asked that question to me a couple of years ago, I'd probably say Kazakhstan, you know? <laughs> like, sure. Don't forget Gambit domination stations. And they did just lock themselves in for the next uh, stage of competition. Yeah, that we had uh, Adren and Hobbit from there, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of uh, names from that region. Uh, yeah, guys. I think you might have something lying around, or it might just be that Deagle making it, facilitating his teammates there. So boosted up, Sai Wu takes a pot shot and calls it quits. I can tell you how that last round went. Apex got two opening kills on the Glaive and Lucky. Shocks turned down Zipex, they planted the bomb, and then Dupree and just saved. Okay. So there you go, we're up to date, guys, with the best info Ooh, we have. Ooh, lovely find, and there's more where that came from. Shocks not expecting Dupree, he bowed his time. He sat by the doors, waited for the initial engagement, and then, oh, walking through the smoke, Apex clothesline, this one's done. Astralis immediately back into the fray. A Deagle and a UMP, the save rifles, save them. They just have one fight they have to win initially here on this A site. And it's going to be against Zip, but now that Dupree has actually bolstered the forces, it does get a little bit dicey here. Zawi's going to have to have a magic moment. Smoke and a flash. He uses that flash to line up his molly. He wants to drop that for Goose. It's well placed. The util's not bad. Dupree's oh, burning. Sweet. Oh, and Masuta does catch one. Need the second. Tip of the head was spotted. Lucky long. 40 seconds. Zaiwu could make magic happen here live. Struggling. P250 equipped. Lucky's his next victim and not to be. Astralis will secure an 11th. And this is going to be a very competitive game now. Strap in for the long run. The gap officially closed. We talked about a 10-5 half. Well, that is just a thing of the past. Biting his nails off. He's not going to have much left. You can't fault him. Extaz has to just stare into the abyss and the screens of his team. Yeah, you think it was nervous before for the coaches. Now imagine you can't even make a peep here. So he's having to sit on his hands for this one. But Kyojin into a Deagles. I were back into the AWP. Long control again. Astralis have been doing a lot of this four-man play over towards A to lock things down. And this time they'll get it without any resistance whatsoever. The bomb currently in upper tunnels. Three players from Vitality clearing that out now. Masuta leading the charge here. See if he can get that hinge smoke down without a hitch this time. Pester pestering towards long bullets exchange. Zip has made his presence noted and they're jostling back across now. They've been able to bolster the B bomb site with a second. Creeping on up, Cat. Working their way towards A. They will need to jump over. They're across, uncontested. Very heavy, long lean. The, the only real first responder will be lucky. They have to throw something. They can't go dry here. Bridge smoke. He smoked off. Flashes. Yeah, but there's still vision. Lucky pulls the trigger. Masuta forced to watch. Good nade. Delays. Pulling the plug. Lucky commits for the retake. Zipex is partnered up with him. They will let that bomb go down and play the advantage. Shocks could be huge. Oh, we could. It's all about timing. This could be massive. Clear. Three backs are turned. Apex delays them. Now Shocks can strike. Calls another. Glaive spotted. He has to make a decision now. Lucky and Zipex are long. Zaiwu has vision just on the edge of the smoke. He needs another. Support is there. Zaiwu plucks another from the pack. And the French post 14. Oh, Shocks was instrumental right there. They lose the opening kill going into the site. Lucky does a lot from that car position, but it's not enough with that lurk. They all come through the mid door. Don't want to risk coming through CT spawn. And they lock them down with the crossfire. Getting fired up now is Apex. Yeah, Just two more rounds to get this done. You've been sat in that chair. An absolute roller coaster of emotions. And well, they know what it means. Oh, they've gone all in. Look at the buy. Two scouts, a UMP what? and Deagles, and this is it to defend against 15. They Astralis got, all in right now. They got info. Look at Shox's position. He knows that they're just going to have to give that up. 
You can't afford to contest it when the buy is so light. They don't have the info on the force yet. Rejigging the setup. Oh, this is going to be the hinge smoke. Zai was going to throw this out all the way back from T-Spawn. We saw Elise doing this just the other day. Zip was one of the first... Uh, sorry, Zai was one of the first throwing this one out. It's going to land to perfection here and obscure the vision if they do want to push up Catwalk. Taking space off the back of that, but look at this passive stance from Astralis here. Two towards the mid doors, one in the upper tunnels, and two over towards A. What's even more impressive is that Leech was throwing it without a scope rifle. Stiko giving us the insight, perhaps a set pause command, but... To long. Magis kept guessing courtesy of that smoke, but not forever. He's actually peeked out behind it. They don't have any util to defend on A, and Magisk is taking space here. They have a great idea that this is going to be a long play. And scouts don't suck on long. A nice long-range engagement. Zywu's weapon is better. 45 seconds now. They might have to stick to their guns here, Vitality. Well, we know this is how the French like to operate. It can be apparent. Zywu gets his weapon. Dropping his nades. Flustered. Such a high-stakes moment. 30 seconds. And the slow-down smoke for the CTs to swing around and engage onto the ramp. Time-sensitive mission. And here they come. Lucky Waff you got for us. 15 as the flashes rain in. The Molly's not bad. Clearing the side, but Dupree strikes and Astralis. They're delaying. 10 seconds. Apex needs that. Gets it. Dupree again contributes. They have to time. Plan. Now he can't. Magiscus denies. There's no time. No time. Astralis take it on the force. They brought in UMPs. Scouts, Chad. And they defend it. Vitality, they trip, they fumble. That's one of the best opportunities they'll have in this entire game to get to that 15 mark because now, now they're able to pick up a couple of, oh, he got, he got the AWP. That's all he got. That's all Zywu got right there was the AWP. Oh dear, the timing, just waiting until so late. They were waiting for any aggression. They didn't budge Dupree. That was brilliant. They just, look at this as well. Just keeping the head tucked. They're back oh, in this. Oh baby. Look at the buys for both Magic. teams. Look at the look push. At you bully, straight in. Takes down Kyojin, Zaiwu shut down, and he's just taken the round. The hero warp denied, he can tuck tail now, he's set. Set for success on the retreat, Apex on the hunt, loses his head. Astralis closing this gap even further. Oh my my. Everybody getting a chance on this AWP, Shox has picked it up now. They have to do some damage here, right? Vitality, the name of the game at this point is just making sure everybody from Astralis doesn't walk away with a gun. Take something away, the shot just misses. But more information here. With a minute and ten left on the clock, where are they meant to go? A tag. Yeah. But goes both ways, and Lucky wins that duel. He was not deterred. Thirteen secured. Looks like we're going the distance here. There's enough money right now for Vitality to buy again. Right, they're able to get this one out. They're able to purchase on in. They took that light investment the last time out. Now called for the French. They can definitely buy here, but there won't be an AWP for Zywu, who has 27 kills to his name, just three shy of that 30. On the other side of things, Magisk and Dupree. They're the ones kicking up a fuss. 22 for Magisk, 20 for Dupree. Apex is trying to have a game of things. He's found 19 kills. Shox is on 17. 14, 13, the scoreline reads. And still the buy looks a bit rough around the edges for Astralis. Glaive, UMP, MP9 for Zip. They've that scout work. is still in play. They've made it work before, Chad. Lucky's definitely looking like no slouch on that scout. Going to have to continue to deliver, though, at the crunch moments. Magic steps up. What as he has consistently for his squad. This round could have spiraled. Yes, I know. Perhaps stop screaming about those... Lighter buys a save door upon Zywu. Magis just immediately nullified that round and its threat. These guys have played tens of thousands of rounds of Counter Strike, but these ones do have the additional weight of their major hopes and dreams. This looks different. Apex is trying to sell everything on his own here. Okay. New game plan. X Taz previously on the mic forces Lucky out of that info. It's a fast mid to be. It's a fast mid to be, sure, but Glaive's taken down Apex's cell. And there's more damage inflicted onto Dupree. He does drop the incendiary. Rotation's the push coming. straight through. No one's looking. Glaive slips through. It's up to Zywu. Catches the first. It's chaos. Pandemonium. They're Magis stalled out. Sight. They need to break through. It's Dupree. Strikes again. Masuta down. It's up to Shox. He has the bomb. Will he clear his corners? Head turned. Does put one into the eardrums, but they need to find Dupree, and they They're will. In. The sight now there's. Bomb to be planted. The gap closed quick. Lucky and zip. 
A smoke, a kit. It's a good retake setup. So much riding on this one, a 2v2. The stake's never been higher for this game, a wingman. Who strikes first? Sound cues. Smokes. Zipex connecting the bullets. Shox is wounded. His limbs hanging off. He's just got to hold on. The time is on their side. Zip tagged. Body bagged and 15 is secure. My God, the tiniest of margins separating these two teams. Oh, yeah. They got stalled out for so long. For so long. They just had to sit. And you never want to be in limbo on the mid to B. Stuck outside those doors because you know that rotation's coming. You know that the CTs are working that one out. No one was looking. Glaive, if he had a rifle, that's probably two kills. Oh, he the UMP. Through. He's forced to try and retreat as he whips out a UMP and a cursory glance from Zai, who spots him now. This is it. Defending champions of the previous major are on their backs. Glaive's into lower here. UMP again. Those bonus guns that they had in the last have facilitated a buy. Lucky has an AWP now. There is a chance for Astralis. Get and get right. Flashbacks. Will it clear? Masuta will. But Glaive still gets the better of them. Apex is his next victim. Sketchy. He's got half. Ten bullets left in the UMP. A supporting flash. He oh! will profit. He extends play. Whips out the AK. Vitality now in a bit of a downward spiral. They're forced to long. Are they going to expect an AWP in play? Remember, Lucky still has that. Oof. He's in mid, though. Oh, this could be huge if Magis tucks in. If he gets here in time, it's going to be a difficult clear. They got mollies. But that would be a clear indicator of their final objective here. A 2-2 split after their defense. Zip in transition does get to tuck in as they swing. They're going to hear the footsteps. Kyojin has to clear this. He has to clear this position. He's looking at car. Will he clear it? Will he clear it? <gasps> yes, he will. And Magis loses his head. Surely the sight now, too. This could be it for Astralis. Three players. Glaive has pulled out all the stops. Zip, what have you got? The answer's nothing. Vitality two frags away from sending Astralis out of the legend stage. Nade, oh, it's well oh! played. Daiwu beheads him. It's all onto Lucky. An AK and a dream. Or Astralis is, are left in the legend stage. No Stockholm, no crowd. Lucky trying to kick and scream as best he can. One low, Shox is on 10 HP. The rookie. Trying to extend play, gets the info towards the goose position. Halfway gone. He's paranoid about long. He's got to commit now. It's Zaiwu. He's the one to secure it.